It's the latest advancement in battling diabetes and obesity. But now there is some evidence that drugs like Ozempic could help patients with other ailments. An observational study in the scientific journal Nature, glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonists similar to Ozempic were associated with reduced risk of substance use and psychotic disorders, along with seizures and neurocognitive, neurocognitive disorders, to name a few. Uh, for more, let's turn to Dr. Robin Chong. He is a an associate professor with UBC's Faculty of Me Medicine, studying neurology with the University Center for Brain Health. Doctor, thanks for being in, uh, with us. Some interesting findings in that study. What does it tell us about drugs like Ozempic or, or Wagovi? Well, it's a very interesting study because um, normally uh, when we treat diabetes, it reduces the diabetes-related um, risk factors such as strokes and heart disease. So those are kind of expected. But in this particular study, they review a lot of information, including some of those that are unexpected. For instance, you mentioned uh, there's a re reduction in um, uh, addictions risk, for instance, uh, alcohol use disorder, and uh, also in um, seizures, and you mentioned uh, in my specialty, which is neurodegenerative diseases, there are some observations that there's a reduction in dementia and Alzheimer's disease. So that's very intriguing. Mm -hmm. What do we know about the relationship between diabetes and neurological disorders? Well, we know that diabetes um, causes or lead to a number of um, neurological disorders, but most commonly nerve problems such as neuropathy and um, vascular disease such as heart disease and stroke. So these are the big ones. But um, we have also studied quite a bit on Alzheimer's disease, and Alzheimer's has a link to vascular risk factors as well. That's why we always ask people um, to be careful with their vascular risk factors, have their blood pressure monitored, have their diabetes properly controlled, and same with a high cholesterol. Mm. Um, but, um, but this seems like uh, from this study, the effects it's outside of its diabetes improvements, there's something else that goes on, which is we find uh, quite interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the shortcomings of a study like this, or what needs to be examined next? We note this was an observational study. Right. Observational studies only discover um, some interesting findings, but it cannot be a proof. So um, I know that there are actually some uh, clinical trials going on, because in this particular study, the observations are all people who have diabetes and got treated, and then they observe these people over a number of years and see whether other risk or diseases are reduced. But it doesn't prove that it's actually helping the actual disease itself. So the gold standard is actually do a clinical trial to look at this effect on the patients with a particular disease in, of interest. And in my area of research, I know that there are clinical trials being conducted for Alzheimer's disease in particular using a GLP-1 agonist treatment.